To help me visualize what kind of earthship I want to build, I decided to make a quarter inch model of an earthship encounter using the same plans provided on the Simple Survival app. Now I printed a basic rib uh, of a battered tire wall and printed it on cardstock, made a model piece, repeated it, and I wanted to build the model in the same order of operations that the real earth ship is constructed, starting with the tire work. A burnt course below grade, then 12 courses. So based on the encounter drawing, approximately 700 tires. So the cooling tubes are inserted between the third and fourth course of tire. Each course of tires are battered back typically an inch and a half from the previous course and giving the slight slant to the interior wall of the earth ship. As you can see there. And again I made a paper pattern for the cisterns that are installed in the first operation. I printed it on cardstock. I cut it out, made tabs, scored it, folded, glued it. Uh, so just like a paper model this is the way I do it. And after it's constructed, the finished product just will slide in. You can see there, much easier in quarter inch scale. Uh, on the opposite side you can see me placing the thermal wrap between the cistern and the tire wall. That's really four inches of rigid insulation in real life. Okay, so moving on to operation two where the concrete work is done. This is a model piece of the interior greenhouse wall, which is really operation three. So it's two and three combined. A lot of things are happening here. A footing is made from rebar and concrete, then a stem wall that the window frames sit on top of and the door frames are installed. A glue lamb beam joins all the framing together. Uh, in addition to that, there's bond beam uh, around the tire work and there's uh, plating with Trex plastic wood along the bond beam. So there's a lot happening all in this one little model piece. You can see also um, I drilled some 16 inch holes with a flashlight behind it to sort of indicate some bottle work. So after watching some Earthship construction videos on the encounter and reviewing the plans, I realized that the South facing wall, far east and far west by the cisterns, takes a step down. So you can see I'm going to cut down the wall here about four tires less. And in real life, when that's finished off, it provides a little ledge for the solar panels to sit on. Uh, and it also allows a little bit more side light to hit that. Um, outer greenhouse wall so you can see that's where the solar panels go. Moving on to operation four I'm adding a thickness to this model piece which indicates the uh, footing made from tires and then on top of the footing there's a stem wall for the windows um, but then the tires are covered over with uh, concrete on the outside um, and adobe on the inside. So needing to add a little support on the model walls, I'm going to add some interior walls just for uh, a little stability. Uh, some of this work is done in operation two where the buttresses are formed with concrete and rebar uh, like the um, footings. But uh, the buttresses uh, are attached to the uh, tire walls which gives a point of attachment for the interior wall to live. And just sliding this last piece on. Next comes making 25 or so identical roof trusses which happens during operation 3 so I'm skipping around a little bit. For the encounter earthship the trusses could be made off-site and brought in for installation. These would be made out of 2x4 but for model purposes I'm cutting the trapezoid shape out of balsa wood. The earthship encounter is a single sloping roof to the south side of the building, uh, but it, you might notice in earlier and older model earthships, uh, Vega beams were used, very indicative of the southwestern style. 
So several months ago, I watched an online class with Phil Basehart where I brought up the idea of installing skylights. And Phil said, well, you could try it, but might compromise the integrity of the Earthship functionality. For instance, getting roof leaks. I thought I'd try it in the model. So you can see the four foot square there uh, in between the trusses. So to finish off the roof framing, 2x12s are attached to the trusses over the greenhouse section of the encounter. And in between those 2x12s you have some blocking, but for model purposes I didn't do that. So after the framing comes the sheet goods. There's a layer of 5 8 inch plywood uh, laid over the framing and then on top of that there's 30 pound felt paper and then on top of that you have two inches of poly iso insulation and then on top of the poly iso insulation there are purlins every two feet and these are installed to catch the pro panel metal roof which goes on last but before the roof goes on there's yet another layer of one inch poly iso between the purlins so as Mike Reynolds would say, the roof is built like a thermos bottle, and that's why the Earthship holds heat and stays warm. Here you can see that I am marking out where the purlins would go every two feet. When making this model, it's a quarter inch scale, so I'm trying to choose materials that best replicate the dimensions in real life. Now I am installing the gutter that carries the water flow to the cisterns, east and west sides of the Earthship. And now I'm cutting metal strips that will simulate the pro-panel metal roof, going right over the skylights just to be authentic. I can always cut them out if I want to show them in the future version of this model. Okay, so I'm continuing with an interior wall and it defines the bathroom and the gray water planters here in the greenhouse. I'm working on that. And then I'm gonna be adding some acetate to the window frames that defines where the glass would be. I'm trying not to leave out any parts of the process here so I can get a true representation of the step-by-step process of building an earthship. So working on the overall presentation, I'm adding a berm around the tire wall. This is made out of green florist foam and I added some model grass around the outside as well. Now we don't have to look at that red uh, foam core anymore. So all of the layers uh, in this model are completely removable and that's to help illustrate the phases of construction. I wanted to use this as a future teaching tool so that people helping me build would know how everything layers together and fits together etc. So the inner greenhouse wall then forms your comfort zone, your living area, and then comes the outer greenhouse wall which forms the greenhouse to grow all of your edible and non-edible plants. There's a shower stall there on the left and then on the opposite side would be your toilet. And here's your roof and it's looking pretty good. It's coming together but we still need to do some finishing touches. So I'm going to add some color to this model and show where the plants would be grown in the gray water planter bed. All right, so I'm gonna to move to the outside of the building here. I'm just drawing in some flagstones, stone little walkway leading up to the doors uh, left and right. And continuing with the landscaping, I'm gonna add some actual dimensional rocks um, my rocks in the model are a little out of scale, but you get the picture. And uh, the landscaping here is to kind of disguise the fact that you just got 
a septic tank under there and then after the septic it goes into a, a black water planter cell and then beyond that you have a leach field so um, you can still grow all sorts of things outside in those black water planter beds coincidentally I made these model pieces that I'm painting out of watercolor paper so they're absorbing uh, and or staining the color that I'm putting on, which is not dissimilar to the actual process that is used when constructing an earth ship. Usually there's a cement plaster or adobe or clay paint, um, but all of those processes require kind of staining and soaking into the material rather than painting on top of the material. If you paint on top of the material, eventually that paint will crack off. Well, now that I'm at the end of my Earthship model building video, now is a good time to remind you of the six basic principles of an Earthship. One is to build with recycled and natural materials. The second is uh, thermal heating and cooling created by passive solar and thermal mass uh, built into the construction of the Earthship. Collecting your own water growing your own food, treatment of your own waste, and creating electricity through solar panels. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video and other videos, click like and subscribe. Thank you.